Ahem. Anyways. Hello everybody, my name is Vastice Game, and I am back again with another episode of Corpse Party. That's right, another episode of the horror game. It, it's horror. So, you know, warning if you can't handle that stuff. Uh, other than that, I don't really have, really have much to say. Uh, just hope everyone can enjoy the stream. And also that I won't get too confused. Let's go and get right in, shall we? I still hate that I have to open this, like, after playing marbles whilst it's gonna play music in the background. Anyway, here we go. Hello game! Now, if you remember correctly, we, if I remember correctly, we were in chapter 3. And we were this weird thing where everyone was getting split up. N no one's with their original person anymore. And look, look at this. The, this guy, he's a stranger. Stranger danger, okay? Why are you hanging out with him? Other than that, really, we can't do anything, so we do still have to, like, you know, go around with him. I can't remember anything, though, like what I was meant to do. But where, where am I meant to go? Staff room, the door seems to have fixed. Ah, damn it, that's right, staff room doesn't work. Okay, let's think. What could be the solution to all of my worries? Hmm. I mean, the music room works from this side. Yeah, this level's a lot more of just confusing stuff, to be honest. Oh, is there something in there, maybe? Nope, never mind. There are a few oh, there are a few cents to on the surface of the desk. Hey, Ori, be very careful around the green goo splattered all over the floor. It can kill you. I ran to a spiritualist here who left behind a pair of shoes blessed with holy water. Oh. If one person wears them, then and all in attendance join hands, then and only then is it safe to traverse the accursed goo. Whenever I see the soulful bodies of those who died here, I feel as if I may go mad with worry. I beg you, survive these... these, uh... ordeals. Live. Live, God damn it, live! Anyway, <clears throat> a pair of shoes with a faint, nearly imperceptible bluish glow catches your eye from under the desk. Take them? I mean, obviously. This... God damn, okay. It is a good thing I came to check here. I had... Oh shit. Run, or do, eh, oh, I don't know, I'm, I'm gonna go check. Hello? Uh, nope, still, okay. Okie dokie then. I, I guess that was just some random lighting error then. God, don't you just hate when those random lighting errors spark up in the creepy buildings and make you think, oh my god, it's haunted? Yeah, I hate that too, happens so much. Okay, here we go. Yeah. Just gotta follow a you you yeah you yeah you you I, I I don't know I'm not good at Japanese names. Okay, here we go. Where was the green goo? I think it was upstairs. Here we go. Green goo, I must find you. Here we go. Hello, hello room. How you doing? A uh, creepy door with all the talismans. Been a while. Uh, dead person, how you doing? If I get too hungry, I'll come back and eat you. Right, what else we got in here? Do, 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 There it is. Alrighty. Oh, hello, ghost. There's something sparkling on the ground. Pick it up? Yes. Crystal of unsealing. A translucent crystal that shines with a mysterious light. Okay, I don't know what we're going to use that for, but I have a feeling it's going to be ominous. Hmm. What seems to be the problem, Yuka? I, uh, really have to go to the bathroom. Oh, don't tell me you've been holding it in all this time, have you? Uh-huh, I, uh, uh... My, my. Well, we best find the place to relieve yourself then, though I seem to recall the options being rather limited. Maybe in this room? I mean, it records the door. Oh, god damn it. Okay, right, so... Wait, where do I go from here? Uh... Jeez... What the... Whoa, 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 wait, what's the statue? It's a plaster bus, cheap and mass-produced for use in still-life paintings. Okie dokie. Huh? Wasn't inside the art room before? Oh, hello, Afars! How are you doing? Welcome, you, you pilot. You look like a pilot. Anyway. Wasn't this inside the art room before? Hmm? What's the matter? Uh, um, nothing. Pro probably just my imagination. 
Okay, well that's creepy. Let's go and check the art room then. Hello, art room. How is everything? Who are you painting? <gasps> There's a note. Three. So similar to right there. Interesting. Very interesting. Ready. I still have no idea where I'm meant to be going, but I'm going. What? It, oh god. And the, I'm surprised no one's really fallen through the floor yet. Going swell, also it's too damn desperate to care about what. I mean, true. At some point, you'd think they'd be like, "No, it's it's too desperate." What can we do? We have to find a place. The bathrooms are kind of locked off. Uh. Oh, there we go. I was trying to find the bit to go outside because I wanted to try to go there, and the ghost appeared. So maybe, maybe if we go outside now, as I'm just very quickly save. Saving is very important in this game. Not saving is the difference between one and two hours work. Okay, here we go. Hello, outside world. How you doing? Great to meet you. In here? No? What, 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 what am I meant to do for you? Okay. Let me get, let me, let me think quickly. Uh, shh. Okay, idea. There's a room with all the sealing on it. So if we go there and use the unsealing crystal to get rid of the seals, that makes a tiny bit of logic. So I think that's what the game chose to do. Because this game follows the minimal amount of logic needed. Let's just... Eh, here we go. Sealed door. It's me again. How you doing? It's your favorite cousin. Oh, okay. The crystal of unsealing shatters. Alrighty, look at that. Door's open. The protective charms attached to the door have completely vanished. It's now opening with no difficulty whatsoever. Seems usable now. Will you be alright by yourself? I don't like the fact that this guy's just kind of like... He is definitely gonna go crazy. Cause he's, it, it's like that thing where like the character's too normal. So, yeah, I'm gonna say they're going bad. Anyway. <clears throat> uh, uh -huh. I'll, I'll, be, I'll be okay. Okay, in you go, little lady. Get to it then. I'll be running right out here for you. <laughs> Thanks. And in they go. Also, why is Yuya Kizami carrying their shirt on their shoulder? I think it's it's like that thing where you have the blazer, but you don't want to wear the blazer at the time, so you just you know you're carrying it like that because it's easier. Anyway. <sighs> <sighs> What the fuck? Who was panting? Oh, hello! Kazami? Kazami, is it really you? Kurosaki, Kurosaki you're alive! Ah. That was loud. <laughs> anyway, you too! Man, are you a sight for sore eyes! Finally, someone else who isn't dead! God forsaken place that this is! Oh my, oh. I bet she's gonna die. This seems too boring for the series. True. Or he's gonna die. He's probably gonna die. Anyway, <clears throat> I was at my wit's end just now. Let me tell you, outside of this school, there's nothing but trees as far as the eye can see, man. I thought about Brave in the Wilderness, but it seems like one of those forests of the lost you see in video games. Once you enter, you can never leave. Ooh, what the hell is this place anyway? Now at all, there are actually honest to goodness ghosts in here, you know? It's crazy! Why are you staring at the wall? I think we may be stuck here for good. There's no way out for any of us. Oh man, don't say that. Kurosaki has idiot energy. <laughs> Did you see? Mitsuki, in, in the next room, she's dead. Yeah, I saw. I, I, I just don't know how to handle this. I, I feel like there's a certain number. A certain number of dead bodies a person is expected to see within his lifetime. I mean, you say that, but like, there's definitely a lot of people who have seen more than their fair share of corpses, so. And I swear, in the last hour alone, I think I've fast passed my quota. 
Just yesterday, Mitsuki dumped the boyfriend after finding out he was cheating on it with three other women. Hold on a second. So you're cheating on one girl with three other girls, therefore you're also cheating on the three other girls with the three other girls? Or is that a case of the three girls all knew and you just wanted to force them? That, that seems like a very precarious situation for Mitsuki. I'm just gonna say it. So he sent her stupid text messages during class to cheer her up. She seemed mad about it during study hall, but then she went, I mean, a thank you message the very next period. I was actually able to lift her spirits a little. I know a person who's never seen a corpse. I mean, I've never seen a real life corpse in terms of people. Now though, she's gone, killed, killed by actual spirits. It was those children, right? Those godforsaken children, one missing head, one missing tongue, and I think the other one was missing like... I don't know, the, their eye? Yeah, it was the eye, because I used that as the thumbnail. Oh, and by the way, people don't know, I do have a YouTube if you want to go watch old streams. They're not edited, I, I mean, in, unless you go really far back, then I edited some of them. But they're not edited, and generally they're just uploaded to YouTube. I know what a grandma is, but sure. I mean, funerals, you kind of, if you have a funeral, you kind of expect to see a corpse. Like, you know, the open display, so they pay final respects. That What I was referring to was like soldiers who have to actually like kill people for their job. They definitely see more than their fair share. Oh! What? what? Huh? Bro, that's uncool, man. Kazami, what, what are you doing, man? This wasn't part of the deal. Please spawn kick him down the hole. No. Right. Yay, voice acting from the game for the noises I can't make. No, I saw again out of the house and- Oh, okay, fair enough. I'd hate to be this guy right now. If you're in that much pain that you're screaming that loud and that long, then clearly it freaking hurts. Now you, you, you gonna give an explanation or are you gonna spawn? Yes! <laughs> Spotting kick! Oh my god, I called it. Oh, that is one of the best scenes so far. Oh man. Bye bye. Within these walls, it doesn't matter if you're killed by them or killed by me. Either way, but, oh, he's got those crazy eyes. Don't, by the way, now that now that I've realized this, I'm kind of scared that this guy's gonna turn out to be a like a yandere lolicon, and that's just a bad situation to be in for for um Yuki. <laughs> Yuki? Yeah, that was the name, Yuki. But yeah, that, that would be a bad situation for everyone. So I've been on chapter 3 for nearly two hours now. Uh, uh huh? Where? Zami is very psychotic. Yeah. Oh, hello. <gasps> what the? What happened? Where am I? Were you stabbed by him too, or were you just knocked out? Knocked out. Okay, thank you for confirming. What a nice guy. Yuka! Yuka, are you there? Yuka! We gotta find the Yuka! Oh. Inventory of incoming students, Ujam, U Ujima Elementary, 21 boys, Hinomoto Elementary, 10 girls, Caring Village, Montessori. Montessori sounds like an American state, man. <laughs> Osho West Elementary, 18 girls, Armor Gardens Academy, 6 girls. Okay, I can't tell if that's like Heavenly Host Elementary School closure day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you. So is that like people coming in now or that or were people coming in before? Uh okay, I can't really interact with much. Mochita seems nice compared to Kizumi. Mochita, Mo I'm trying to remember which one's Mochita now. There's a plaque inside the case commemorating the school establishment. Covered in bloody handprints as if someone was frantically caressing the art. Was Mochita the one taking all the pictures? Anyway. It's haphazardly crammed into bursting with crumpled up documents, newspaper clippings, and scrap paper. School scandals continue. 
principal questioned on liability. A cursed school? The many grisly happenings at Heavenly Host. School nurse reported missing. Now see, that's the one person you don't want missing. Uh, door work? The door is completely fixed in place and won't budge at all. God damn it. Did I just hear a door? Oh, that's a buddy. The remains of a female student are sprawled out on the ground here. Her student ID name tag is still pinned to her breast pocket. Ms. Auto Municipal Brother did the- okay. Heavenly Host sent people to heaven. True. <laughs> they did do that. That's blocked. But sorry about that. Basically, I someone just wanted to- anyway. <clears throat> Heavenly Host Bulletin. An individual unaffiliated with the school broke into building last night and killed himself. Why a school? Like, of, of all the places to kill yourself, why a school? Because all you're doing is being a bigger annoyance to everyone. Like, I get it. You want him to die, so maybe you go to the nearest place. But, like, surely if you're doing it because you're depressed, you want to be as little bother as possible, so you do it somewhere that doesn't make a mess? No, I, I mean, I'm used to suicide at this point. Why just not die? <laughs> Because, guys, it's corpse party. We need the cor- Oh, that's why you went to the school, because we need the corpses for the corpse party. If you have too few corpses, how's it going to be a party? Anyway. This is the third such incident. The deceased was a 72-year-old single male from a neighboring prefecture. Oh, now that's worse. He's 72 years old. Got that old man smell now. What's over here? Hello, item. There's a bloodstained cassette on the floor. It seems to be from a digital video camera. Pick it up. Yes. Give me that cassette. The label reads Kibiki Research Data 1, 2005, 11, 19. Why not just kill yourself in the home or door? I've started something bad here, haven't I? What was that? Hello? Um... Strange but true stories of the occult chasing down the hidden past of the cursed school building. It really exists! By Ko Kibiki. Give it a look. Oh no, I feel like something bad's gonna happen if I read it now. Okay, don't read it for the time being. Don't read it for the time being. I feel like there's gonna be something else. Let's, let's just double check. Double check. Okay, still closed. Okay, I don't think there's anything else. I, I think we have to read that, so I'm gonna go ahead and go back down. Alright, read it. Please, don't cause my death. I can't save. There's no candle in here. Over the course of several days, a series of incidents occurred within this town in which young children disappeared one after the other. Their whereabouts were ultimately discovered through a thorough police investigation, but said findings were very much worst case scenario. Three of the missing children were found dead in a concealed room beneath Heaven Element Host Elementary, official, uh, officially unused throughout the school's history. The fourth missing child was thankfully still alive, quaking to feel on the ground, presumably only moments away from demise when the police arrived. Capping off this nightmarish scene was an adult male member of the school's teaching staff who seemed to be in the state of confusion. In his hands were a pair of bloodied scissors, 1973, the 18th of September? I'm not good at months, okay. <clears throat> the surviving elementary school students, after psychological counseling, gave official testimony, fingering the scissor man as abductor and murderer. <laughs> Oh god, translation. Fingering the scissor man. <laughs> oh god. The staff member in question was officially charged with multiple counts of abduction and murder of minors, as well as desecration of the dead. He was quickly taken to trial where an insanity plea spared him from prison or death, but resulted in his compulsory admittance to a mental hospital. Interestingly, the perpetrator of these crimes was none other than the school principal's own son, who was rather renowned for his, for his uh, jovial personality. However, due to the mental ailment of unknown origin, he had begun losing his ability to speak little by little during the years, teaching at Heavenly Host. 
I can't believe they put Clock Tower into Corpse Party. No, not Clock Tower! I don't want to have a John Tron video! One of his speech was all but gone, he begun searching for alternate places of employment, which occupied him for several months prior to the crime. The results of this endeavor were not favorable, however, and most of his days were spent staggering idly through the streets. His reputation quickly degraded. Several months after his immense the mental hospital, he managed to slip past many nurses on duty and escape the premises. Immediately upon doing so, he made his way onto the concealed basement room at Heavenly Host Elementary, where he took down his life by hanging. Wait, you know Clock Tower? Yeah, I do. Anyway, the three children he had killed were all Heavenly Host Elementary students, but the one girl who was rescued from the gaping moor of eternal slumber was not. Following her close call, she and her family moved to another prefecture, far from the memories that no doubt would otherwise haunted them forever. Sadly, this is only the beginning of misfortune that was hereafter plagued the school, which had already earned itself many an unsettling rumor. Over the next few years, Heavenly Host would become a stage for countless incidents of rape, molestation, and suicide. Wow, that went down the road! That, that went down the road to Shitsville very quickly, goddamn. Like, yeah, you had a couple murders. And then you descend into, like, complete lawlessness, what the fuck? With student registration and attendance dwindling at an alarming rate in response to these crimes, the school was eventually shut down. The 60-year-old principal at the time had become infamous as an eccentric who adorned his walls, doors, and furniture with incomprehensible graffiti. Even later, forensic analysis of the writings for his office can make little sense of his half adly scribbled uh, enumerations. And the day after the school's closure date was finalized, this aged eccentric threw himself from its roof. Jesus Christ, man. He broke his neck on impact, dying instantly. As you can clearly discern, the sordid history of this school is indeed awful, but there may be more to it merely than a series of unfortunate incidents. I will say, you want a good show? Good series. A series of unfortunate events on Netflix. That is a good show. A power greater than any of us can comprehend may be acting as a puppeteer in the shadows, maintaining an actual, tangible curse upon this property. And the key to it all lies with the sole survivor, the girl who bore witness to the brutal murders and mutilations of three children, no older than she. The girl in the red dress, the one who got away. My investigation into the supernatural side of this horrific massacre is only just beginning. Rest assured, I intend to make this a regular feature. I have begun gathering data for a follow-up report, so stay tuned. The next issue promises to uncover more details in the morbidly fascinating story. <clears throat> According to this article, one girl survived the murders, but is th if this photograph is correct, then it's the same girl in the red dress we saw earlier. Why would someone who wasn't killed here by haunting the school? <gasps> she did it, I'm calling it. The fucking girl did it. Like, I get it. They're saying the guy did it, they're all blaming him. But the girl was fine and she's here. The girl 100% did it. Like, they may, that's probably meant to be like some big surprise, but 100% that, that's who did it. Right, yo, what am I doing next? Let's see. Door, are you open? Damn, looks like I'm locked in. Holy m- What? <laughs> Why did that scare me? Why did that scare me? God damn it, I wasn't expecting it. It was like a fucking FNAF jump scare. She just appeared out of the shadows. Oh, holy shit. Okay. <clears throat> Probably so much for another's well being that it torments you to the core. It's an exquisite stigmata that afflicts the living and the dead alike. Actually, that's only what they use as a placeholder when you don't know their name. So, we, so either we don't know this character at all, or the character we're playing doesn't know them. And I think it's the latter. Anyway, hello, how are you doing? Uh, and you are? Ugh, her eyes are so cloudy, like a dead fish. Hey, don't you go insulting the dead fish. The dead fish have a lot going for them. Especially since they married Chips, then, you know, they did pretty well for themselves. I'm the spirit of a girl who died. Well, no shit, Sherlock. Are you going to be the spirit of a girl who didn't? Bloody hell. 
Sword. But okay, I'm uh, really not sure how to respond to that, you know? Like, uh, do I say hi? Do I say hello? Do I say hey? You wanna fuck? I'm kidding, they're all school students. Happiness and unhappiness are linked. Whenever one attempts to gain good fortune with little effort, there's always a risk. What, 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 what are you trying to say, bitch? What are you trying to say, okay? I'm not a philosophy major. I did not take philosophy as a subject. You're gonna have to dumb it down. You and your friends have become trapped in this school because you performed the Sachiko Ever After Charm and messed it up. <laughs> it was a joke, okay? Oh god. Also, actually, to be fair, that raises a question. If it's a ghost, and not the body, is it still bad? Because if it's like the ghost, then it's not necrophilia. But is it still bad? Okay, yeah, okay, fair enough. I'll, I'll give you that. I don't know, okay, like, is there a term for that? Because obviously necrophilia is like, oh, corpse. But what's it for ghosts? What is, what is the word for ghosts? If anyone knows... Anyway, <clears throat> So I don't, I don't know if it's necrophilia, because I thought it was corpses. Okay, you know what, just abandon the subject. <clears throat> Nachiko, you mean that paper doll thing we did? How do we mess it up? One of you chanted the phrase too many times, or too few. The number of participants tell us the number of repetition that must be spoken. And somebody goofed. Okay, you know what? Fair enough. I'll give you that. Also, not a sentence I expected in this game. You don't goofed, son. <gasps> what? What? You... Everybody said it nine times. Let's go. We beg of you nine times. You have to say it one time for every person present. No more, no less. The charm will fail. I'm pretty sure it wasn't me. I remember saying it nine times. But did someone else mess up? Is that why? No. No, I'm not going to stop placing blame. This wasn't anyone's fault. It 100% was someone's fault. It may have been on purpose. One of your friends probably thought the whole thing was silly and just didn't even bother to count. Maybe a misguided member of the group didn't want the fun to end and knowingly flubbed the charm in a vain attempt at promoting a do-over. I mean, fair enough, judging by what the situation was. I'll, I'll give you that. Anyway, <clears throat> no. Even if it wasn't on purpose, some of your friends have a tendency to not take things very seriously, no? It's not inconceivable they'd mess up. And just say, oh well, it's not like I'll ever be found out, yada yada. Without even realizing that their actions would ultimately damn you all. Okay, it's like the it's like the girl in that way. <laughs> That, that's good. That, huh? That's fucking goofy. Just huh, huh, huh? look, look, Mickey. I'm in fucking corpse party. Huh, huh? Is that goofy? I feel like that's goofy. <laughs> no one's owned up to it, right? Not a single one of your friends has said to you, "I screwed up. I'm very sorry." Shut the hell up already. You ain't gonna tear my group apart. Wait. <clears throat> huh? My apologies. I've posed far too many likely scenarios, it seems. Perhaps it's the nature of my job, I have long since abandoned my writings after all. Gosh, Mickey. I killed all your friends. And I'll fucking do it again. <laughs> you do still have your scrap of paper doll, no? Be sure you hang on to that. And hang on tight. Treat it like a memento. A memento of those who are dear to you. Um, sorry to cut this short, but I'm in a bit of a hurry here. I seem to have gotten separated from my little sister, and there are still some other people I need to find, too. Such concern for your friends, and all the impulses that go with it, spurring the heart into action. A truly noble sentiment. Why, thank you, mysterious stranger. You're, you're a nice stranger. That's all charms really are, you know. You represents one's regards for other people. I like microcosms of the soul. Whether it be love or hate, all you need is a truly strong emotion to set them off. The stronger it is, the more powerful the charm. Splend man's hook. What? I'm burning up. Wait, wait, hold on, what are you- Frigid, suey, ball. It feels like my body's on fire. 
Stop this, please stop! Also we frigid Bookman Splen Just fucking explodes. <laughs> We will not allow anyone to stand in our way. Those who do will suffer without mercy. Now go! Go to the one who occupies your thoughts! Though you probably won't make it in time. <laughs> Bitch, you crazy! Also one say- <clears throat> There we go, that's my crazy laugh. And I'm dead. Fuck. That is, that's very portal -y music for some reason. Like, anyone else? Anyone else feeling portal? Anyway, chapter four time! You know what, since we're changing between chapters, I'm just gonna say it, by the way. Oh, extra two. There is extras. I didn't know that. Just while we're here, by the way, I'm just gonna say, thank you everyone who's joined at the moment. I just wanna say, if you are enjoying it and you already, please do consider following, yada yada, streamer shit. But honestly, if you got any friends who you think would enjoy this, please do invite them. It's always great to get more people, you know? More people to talk to. Should I do the extra chapters? I f I should I do the extra chapters after? I feel like I should do them after, because they're extras, you know? Also, one second, let me just go back. Let me, let me, let me go back a second. Oh, oh no! Oh, what the fuck? The game just closed. I might have accidentally clicked escape. Oh no. Also, I can't say I have like 9% of the achievements. I only have 3. I'm gonna have to come back and replay this game just to try and 100% it. I'm not doing that on stream though, because the achievements are like, Oh, find all the th find all of these. No, we're not done. I misclicked. It seems I quit the game by accident. Yeah, you know, while this is happening, please invite friends. Invite people to come watch. Always love a great audience to laugh at my dumbass moments. Like just now! Okay, also can you believe this is made of fucking Unity? This does not feel like a Unity game. No, that's the thing, clicking doesn't do shit. Now watch this. Resume? Ending? I can't- no, I can't do that at all. I think it's the hashtag button. No, let me check this. What is this? Okay, yeah, so it's like- Okay, yeah, so th there's a whole thing here on, like, finding things. Okay, yeah, because that's all the achievements, so, like, to find all of those, and it's really annoying. Then you the ending list. There's a few endings. Let's see. What endings have I found? So, Psycho hangs herself? Attacked and enveloped a black missile. Okay, so I'm missing two endings there. Hmm. Well, I don't know what those two are. That's, ki that's interesting, actually. I'm kind of curious about that. You know what? Before we continue, I'm just going to go straight into Chapter 4. Let's-a go! Find our sister before she dies to the crazy psychopathic man who wants to kill people. And view the opening, please. Thank you. It's weird seeing the count- Oh, and they're nude. They're nude! Is- Is this fine? Okay, once this is something I need to do. I feel unsafe at the moment, so I'm gonna very quickly do something to make sure I don't get fucking kicked off Twitch. Uh, pfft, channel, fucking mature. Where's the mature thing on fucking this? Uh, gonna turn on the mature stream so people know this is not for them. Oh fuck, I can't remember where mature was now. You know that annoying thing where you want to enable something but you can never find the setting. Like it's just it's just really annoying. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh, here we go, mature content. There you go. <laughs> oh! That gave me a fucking heart attack. Come on out, you. I'll wash your back. I, I can wash myself, you know. I, I hope this is fine. I, I, I feel unsafe. Please, no. I feel unsafe. I don't feel safe, but I'm gonna get banned. Fuck that. Get out of here. We're, re we're redoing that without the opening. Holy moly. Gonna go back in. And we're not going to watch the fucking intro. Which I think everyone can agree is fucking fair. 
Holy. Yeah, again, just gonna say, we are approaching the big uh, time where I can actually get affiliate due to my age. I'm just gonna say it. Now is like the time to try and drag people into this. Okay, like, hey, you have friends? Bring them in, bring them into whatever this shit is. Okay? They don't, they're not gonna know what's going on and it's gonna be entertaining as hell. So invite people, man. Okay, let's go do chapter four again. And this time, no intro. No. No thank you. Okay. <clears throat> Ugh. Oh, my head. W where am I? Oh, hey, we're outside. Nice. Ugh. I feel like I just drank 20 shots of alcohol. I'm in the main building. Wait for a bad dream and find myself in another. Damn it! Do 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 Gonna walk around, yeah. Woo! Walking around for myself. A woo! I don't know what's going on anymore. Do 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 do. Big brother. Wait, oh, yeah, that's more like big brother. She's crying. Yuka, Yuka, we gotta go save Yuka, man. We got oh shit, body corpse. Never mind. Fuck you. To Yuka, we must save the child. Watch you do this way. Huh? Dot 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 dot. Wait. Dot 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 Please take care of Naomi. She's on the verge of snapping. Who's speaking? Who's there? Who's speaking to me? Reveal thyself, foul spirits! I can swear that sound like... Oh god, who's it gonna be? It's gonna be fucking... Oh! Naomi! Oh my god! Hey, you alright? What? Oh my god, Naomi's a ghost! That's terrible. And that's a phone. Is that Naomi's cell phone? Hello, oh, oh geez. Uh, hello cell phone. Answer the phone. Yes, please. Let's see who's on the other side, shall we? Dot, 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 dot. Help me. Help me. Naomi? 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 Are you there? Answer me, please. Naomi. Naomi, please just let me hear your voice. Oh, it's the thing from chapter one. It's how chapter one ended. Please just say something. I'm your mom, Naomi. God, please don't let anything happen to her. Hello? Hello? Help me. Help me. Help me, you stupid bastard. Thank you for the voice acting. What the hell? This place needs to cut the crap already. I can't just leave it, though. Okay. Hey, me and Afaz had kind of the same idea. Anyway, we got Naomi's cell phone. Yeah, boy. Time to adventure. Oh shit, this is dark. I am scared. Uh, shit, I feel like there's definitely something here though is the problem. <laughs> uh, hug the wall. You can't get lost if you hug the wall. Uh, let's... Uh, it was tough, you know. <laughs> Wait. <clears throat> it is I, Papyrus. I'm not good at voices. I try to do voice act. You can hear how bad I am. Uh, hello? I certainly was surprised. Mm hmm. Guess the wall. <laughs> yes, that is what we're doing. 
Oh, Psycho, did you hear? What is it? What is it? Ah, oh, we're gonna see the body, aren't we? Ishinumi bumped into Satoshi turning around earlier and totally touched his crotch. I should have expected this, because she she is like the one gig. Of course she's gonna say something like that. <laughs> Seriously? <laughs> I like it, I like it. Marry the wall, what has life gotten to? <laughs> oh god. When I saw it happen though, I just wanted to smack Ishinumi upside the head. Oh dear, Naomi. Do I detect a hint of jealousy? Maybe, maybe not. All I know is, right afterward, the two of them go into a huge fight. That's priceless. I wish I could have seen it. Oh man, these, these girls are just laughing a lot about possible gay situations. I don't think you'd be so keen on it if you were there. It wasn't a pretty sight. I don't know. I have a feeling I would have enjoyed it anyway. Why are such idiots? You though. Well, thank you for the compliment. <laughs> Much ado in particular, right, Naomi? Is someone in there? Okay, I'm gonna give a quick warning now. This could 100% be some disturbing imagery. I know some people aren't good at it, even though this is a horror game, sometimes you watch it and then yada yada. But yeah, disturbing imagery. I don't know if it's gonna be there, but it might. Anyway, the door is shut and locked. There's no indication that anyone's inside. Oh wait, really? You just really? You just you're just ending it there. Wow, that's unexpected. <laughs> Never mind. There's the hanging. Oh shit. Uh. You sense a presence behind the stall door. <laughs> Kick in the door! Fucking save her! Naomi! Dumbass, what the hell do you think you're doing? Save her! Save her! What, 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 what do I do? What do I do? Find object to stand on, try to hold her up. Oh god, um... Shit... Uh... Chat suggestions? I am... Um, I don't... I don't know. Chat, I need... I, I need... I need the wisdom of oh, chat. I'm gonna plant the zombies. Holding up one say Okay. I'm gonna do find an object. Bucket, 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 bucket. Like bucket or something. Fuck. <laughs> Isn't there anything I can use? Isn't there a bucket around here? Bucket! What was that? What was that? What was that? Oh god. Uh, shit. No, no, wait. Oh god. Oh god, I, ca I can't find- where is the thing? Please don't say this is gonna be like a time task. Please, something, something. Oh god, oh god. Okay, please don't say it's gonna be time, like if I waste too much time, she's gonna just die outright. Uh, shit. Uh. What about, what about this rubble? No? Um. Shit. Shit. It. Um. It. There has to be something. What am I missing? Oh, wait, did that just say numerous teeth are flowing in there? Fuck, 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 fuck. Uh. Naomi? Yeah, there's- there's two people hanging there. Uh... I, I- I didn't make it. No, no, it can't be. What's the other rope? Who is the other rope? No, don't you leave, there's a second rope there. A good friend who'd been smiling and laughing with me in the classroom only a few hours earlier. Now dead. Dangling limply from the ceiling in a dismal, dingy bathroom stall. The mere fact that this had actually occurred was more frightening to me than any ghost. What about the other stall, though? When I finally came back to my senses, I found myself running. 
as if life depended on it. I think I just wanted to get out of there. To get away from my body. I really think I just want to pretend like it never happened. All a dream, it can't be real. But my compromised mental state couldn't hold me back for long. I knew I had to face her again. Fucking Shakespearean man, like Shakespeare. There's the. Who's the second corpse? Naomi. Naomi, I'm so sorry. I couldn't save you. It, it's my fault. What do I do now? Are you gonna acknowledge the second body? Like. Shinohara? Shinohara? Oh, you too. Damn it, why? Why would you do this? Why do we have to die here? Give them back, you piece. Ow! Why did I do that? Oh, my hand. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, that smarts. Note to self don't punch the edge of your desk to make a noise. Oh! Fuck. Anyway, you piece of shit, school! God damn it all! That time was the flat surface. I learned my lesson. Okay, so that's both the people who have died. Is there a ch Could we have lost more people and, like, there'd be the full stalls? Is that something that can happen? Because that'd be cool. Like, it's like, oh yeah, by the way, you, you can have, like, one to five people dead by now, and they'll all be hung up here if you've lost them. That'd be an interesting mechanic. Okay, right, what, what, what do I do? Big brother! <laughs> Why oh gotta go save you? I completely forgot about Yuka, to be honest. Damn it, I completely forgot. I left her all by herself. You and me both, mate. You went outside to pee in the woods by the outdoor walkway. Wait for me, Yuka, I'm coming. I've had enough loss for one day. If I were to lose you too. I mean, true, like, it's not gonna have spoilers, is it? Because I'm not exactly gonna go back and replay the game on Steam. Oh shit, wrong door. Literally, like. From that point on, there's no longer any spoilers. I know what can happen in this game. Like that, all all to this point, I basically know what could happen. So. Anyway, to the walkway! I think. I like loosely remember where that was. Do, 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 do. I do, do. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. The walkway was just the bottom of the stairs to the right. Oh, thank god it reminds me. <gasps> oh, shit, the moving hallway. It's not here. Oh, fuck, Yuka is dead. Why? Why is there a wall here? There was a hole in the building. What the hell is going on? Yeah, he, he kind of did the voice acting for me there. Oh. Uh. Why must you torment me like this? Oh fuck, that would be terrifying. And so I sat there, lamenting the many losses that I'd suffered during my short time in this otherworldly school, without even the will to stand. I just kept on sitting, stewing in misery. Okay, fair enough. It would have been cool if they were, though. So okay, so that they're just the two people who died anyways. I couldn't even say how much time passed. But the silence was broken by a sudden rumbling. The entire building began to shake violently. Don't stand in that bit. Yeah, I know they were required. We kind of went over that. Anyway, <clears throat> damn it. Another earthquake? You've got to be kidding me. Open up. Open up. Open up. Open up. Oh, god damn it, it didn't. I was hoping the earthquake signals when the hallway extends. I won't get anywhere by wallowing in self-pity here. Yuka, I'll swear I'll protect you. Please wait for me. I'm going to find a way back into the other building if it kills me. Oh, that's a death flag. Is everyone going to start dying in like the last minute? Like chapter 5 is when all the deaths start happening. Unearth- isn't that just a quake then? Isn't an unearthly earthquake just a quake? Mother, I'll kill you. No, you won't. You won't kill me! I am the mighty Satoshi Mochida! And honestly, all I can think with that name is Mochida from Death Note. 
Uh, hello. I'll kill you. I'll curse you. It hurts so much. I hate you. So oh, that was the cannibalized girl, wasn't it? Oh, shit. I'm not fucking with that. Someone's cell phone is lying on the ground. Pick it up. Fuck yes. Give me that shit. Psychos. <gasps> it's Psychos. Psychos phone. Unearthly to scratch what it does as well as the action. <laughs> this is Shinohara's, isn't it? Psycho seemed to have been in the middle of texting someone when she dropped her phone. The text entry window is still open. While her phone the phone's owner, Satoshi wound up inadvertently reading the whole thing. Shinohara. I'm sorry, Shinohara. I really didn't mean to. I don't know. Oh, red door. Custodian's clock. Oh, god damn it. Door's still locked. There's an erratic noise like that of a t Oh, that's what we're going to use the cassette tape. That's a television, isn't it? I did find that video cassette in the other building. Toshi removes the tape from his bag and rereads the label. Kabiki Research Day, 2005, November 19th. I almost didn't get it was November, when it is currently the 11th month. Anyway, <clears throat> you might hold some important information. If only we had some way of watching it. Fingers crossed, I guess. Okay, here we go. Just head down. That's not possible. Do, do, do. Do, 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 do. And a thing in here. There is a thing. Oh, wait, is it gonna do the switching thing so I can't get it since there's only one of me? Fuck! The light jumping back and forth like that, I'll never be able to get the object by myself. Someone else has to lend me a hand. A ghost? Recruit a ghost companion, maybe? Anyway, let's go! Ah, shit. It's the body of a high schooler. Whoever it is seems to have only just died mere hours, minutes, or even moments ago. Amazaki West Senior Pri- That's a new one. There's a yellow sheet of notebook paper on the floor next to the body. The shakiness of the lettering and the contents of the memorandum suggests that it's written was on the verge of death. Well before they touched the paper. I need water so badly. I'm hungry, sure, but I can deal with the hunger. It's the thirst I can't stand. The other guy I was with, Satoshi Matsubara. He tried drinking that filthy tat water from the sink of the bathroom, but he threw it all up almost immediately, and it burned his chest and his throat so badly that he wound up dying. I tried to think outside the box, even going so far as to drink my own spit, but neither to say it didn't help matters one bit. My tongue's so swollen at this point that I can't even talk. Ironically, it's been pouring outside since we got here, only I could have found a way to gather some of that rainwater, she might still be alive. It's almost as if someone's playing a cruel joke on me, showing me more water than I've ever seen before, but putting it just outside my reach. Somebody wrote that there's a whole other wing at this school. Access through an outdoor walkway, but I never found it. As a last resort, I'm going to try drinking my own blood. My name is Hidamasi Kojima. I'm an 11th grader in the class 2-4 at Amazaki West High. If any reason this ever makes it out of here alive, please tell my family, tell my father what happened to me. I don't want to be missing person for the rest of his life. I hate they do him always wondering where I went, or if I'm still alive. It seems to be continuous. But the rest of it is completely drenched in blood, rendering it totally illegible. I thought that was still writing, whoops. Okay, that is... That is a gruesome death. I would not want to be that guy. It all seems to be attached to the wall. Ah, oh, damn it. And this is still shut? Yes, it is. Fuck! Okay, this is not where I'm meant to be going, apparently. Look, imagine being, like, having to suffer with that your entire life, like, your entire death. Like, just, oh, the, the entire time I'm dead, I feel like my blood's getting sucked by myself. Okay, right, is there anywhere else I can go? Uh, let's see. I, mean, I could go this way, but I don't think there was anything up here. What if, hear me out, his father is dead? Then nothing to worry about. Oh, what the fuck? There's a girl. Hello, little missy. No! It, it's okay, calm down, I'm a friend. Uh, are you alright? Please, please help me. Help me, please. A front tooth is missing, and it doesn't look like an accident. My, uh, my name is Mochida. I'm an 11th grade student at a school called Kisaragi Academy. And, and you are? My name is Toko Kizazaki. 
An 11th grader, be acted in high- Why are all the 11th graders doing this ritual, can I ask? Like, it, it's all 11th graders. <clears throat> okay, and may I ask how you got here? There was- there was this charm from the internet, and we tried it, and all of us were brought here. A charm, same as us then. They all- they all said we'd try to get out of here, together, but then... One of them, y Yuya, went out of his mind and he- he- ah! He pushed one of my friends down the stairs. He killed him. Then, with a smile on his face, he started playing with the body. I ran as quickly as I could. That's horrible. The tooth is missing the point. I mean, yeah, I, I kind of suspect them to do that since they do point it out. Anyway, <clears throat> everyone, everyone's going to go crazy in here. I can't trust anyone. Go, get away from me. Right, okay, I'll go. Just please try to stay calm. Get away! So much shouting. Goddamn. Just uh, save, please. Anyway, so yeah, Yuya confirmed psychopathic murder. What happens if I try to talk to her again? Hello. I don't want to die. I don't want to die. Fair enough. No one wants to die. Alrighty then. I guess. Uh, I guess we're gonna be running into a lot of people we don't know now. Oh yeah, this body. Hello. The smell of exposed organs permeates the entire hallway. Such a shame. Such a shame. Perfectly good hallway ruined by a dead body. Let's see. Anything else around here? I'm, you know what? I'm not doing that again. That, that's a dark hallway. What about this way? Nope. Right. Wait, what if... Oh, maybe if I go up with the phone, right, and I go near the person, will the phone start doing ghost shit? Oh, ghosty shit. I want some ghost stuff going on. Hello. What do you know, Mina? Her eyes are open but empty. There's no trace of life left to be seen. Why, why is this happening? Ah. And somebody is uh, usual bright, cheery expression is nowhere to be seen, and the realization like hits you that it will never be seen again. Shinohara. Okay, clearly we care less about Shinohara than we do Naomi, but still. Okay, that didn't do anything. Uh, fuck. What am I meant to do? Um. Okay, let's think, let's think, let's think. Uh... We've gone about the outside stuff. There is nothing outside, the whole way is gone. That's what the whole thing was, where you like collapsed and was like, No, I'm not gonna find Yuka! Cause the whole way to the other building is just fucking gone. We can't get outside. Cause this... This is where the hallway is meant to be to leave. But it's not there. Because it was the extending hallway. It's a ghost hallway. Other than that, I can't really think of anything. Like, where else can I really go? Let's see. Uh... <sighs> you bet? <sighs> guess, I guess I'm more tired than I thought. Can I get the spirit to help me? Can I get you? It's always a course when I have to... No, I can't. Uh, fuck. Um... What happens if I go in the- Oh, maybe there's like another person in here. Oh, wait. Oh, I need the girl's help, don't I? I probably need to make it so the girl stops being crazy. But how do you stop a girl from being crazy after she's been through trauma? Oh! Thank you, uh, what's- who's new? Uh, Echo Lane. E e Echo Lane? Lane. Echo Lane? E I don't know. I'm trying. I'm just going to call you Echo. You are Echo now. Hello, Echo. Thank you for joining. Right. I can't, and I can't get in here. So. Fuck. Um. Okay. Let's think. Let's think. With the combined power. Of all of chat's brains, maybe, maybe, I'm not going to put it off the table, but I feel like that's the, you know, worst case scenario. Worst case scenario. But no, I think we want to avoid that, okay? 
Hey, hold on. I'm gonna try talking to him again. Maybe some maybe if maybe something will happen. While we're here, I'm just gonna fucking take in a sneaky save. Yes, please. Hey, what do I approach you from behind? Can't talk to you there, can't talk to you there. I d oh, oh. I can't talk to her. Okay, yeah, she she's just broken. The, the girl is just dead inside. Oh, never mind. Have you have you come to kill me too? No. No, of course not. Get a hold of yourself. We just talked, remember? I ain't done with my homework yet. So you think I'm just gonna sit back and let you kill- Interesting reason you don't want to be killed. I'll give you that. You got a pair of scissors. Oh shit. Not scissors. Oh, uh, uh, I'm so I'm so sorry. My God, I've been stabbed. I c I don't think I could move. No. Ah! But I'm okay. How is that possible? Wait, what? When Satoshi found Psycho's cell phone, he went to put it in his pants pocket, but Naomi's already there, and there wasn't enough room for both. So he put it in his breast pocket instead, and just so happened to be the exact spot Toko's scissors struck him. The impact was fully absorbed. Deus Ex Machina, goddammit. Holy shit. Shinohara, are you... Are you okay? What the hell is wrong with you? Where did you get these scissors anyway? Satoshi threw the pair of scissors into the corner of the room. No, keep the fucking weapons, you idiot! We're in a horror situation! You need defense! What are you doing? Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. It's no use. She's too far gone for conversation. Uh. What? What? You know what? I'm not even gonna question it. At this point, I think I lack the effort to care about her anymore. But, just to make sure, I don't want to die. Please don't kill me. Okay, yeah, she, she's broken. I mean, you say that, but this is now me, technically. I am Mochida. I wish Miss Yui were here. Oh, we need to find Miss Yui. Miss Yui can care for her. She's a Miss Yui is alive. Miss Shida. Oh my god! <laughs> what are the chances? Yui Miss Yui, I can't believe it. I was just thinking about you. And I, Mochi and I, you, Mochida. You were in trouble just now, weren't you? <laughs> Look at the fucking. She fucking sprinted here like, oh my god, my children need me. Boom. I feel so bad for Nakashima and Shinohara. But I'm just so grateful to see that at the very least, you're still safe and sound. Miss Yui, you've done very well. Now come, we'll look for Yuka and the others, together. Miss Yui, I'm so, so tired. Can we get the th What the fuck? Alright, I can use this door like a bridge. Oh, is this flashback now? Okay, flashback. <sighs> I don't, I don't know how, but I made it out in one piece. And you're not getting back. Ugh, sure hope nobody was down there. Ow! Oh god, wounds. This really hurts. Oh god. Right arm is broken, completely dislocated. Feels like it's claimed together by muscle and sinew alone. God, it hurts so much. I have to hold it together with, with my hand. Phew. Okay, here we go. Well, she got clocked in the head by that door, I'm calling it. I mean, no, timeline-wise, that doesn't work. Okay, here we go, limping time. Here we go. Uh, Long Bing, welcome to the stream. Um, you've not missed a ton, but we lost Yuka, 
the whole way to the outside it's bit's gone, and we're playing Miss Yui now. So yay. Oh, also, Yuya, the guy with Yuki, killed a guy. So, yeah, he's a bad guy. More bad guys now. Shinozaki, Ishinuma, please be okay. I'm coming to find you. But um, she spent a long time traveling, didn't she? She is just full-on limping. Mr. Yama Mr. Yamazaki, <clears throat> you say your students are listening to you? I mean, that's kind of what a teacher is. Anyway, I, I just don't know what to do. I feel like I've lost the will to teach. Hmm. I receive emails from the parents and guardians every single day. You see, I'm a teacher who gets no results, that I'm useless. Going over my head straight to you? That's terrible! I'm the homeroom teacher, I should be the one answering to them. <sighs> this is my fault for always going away on business trips and leaving with you to fend off the wolves on your own. Nice, but way too into either politics or the Holocaust. <laughs> they must have given you hell, I'm so sorry. No, I, I, I'm the assistant home teacher. It's my duty to attend the class in your absence. In fact, it's been an honor to have you entrust me with your students. It's just that, lately, no matter what I say, every last student in class 2-9 makes a joke out of it. And if I react too strongly, they all start to talk back. You must hate me by now. But I don't blame the parents. The bottom line is what's important. It's all about results. What I want most of all is for these kids to get good grades for their own futures, if nothing else. This is clearly a social commentary on the school system, folks. Okay, it's too focused on grades. We need to turn back and focus more on the well-being of the child and the enjoyment of the teacher with the mental health, okay? We can't just keep talking about the grades, okay? Doesn't matter if you get a nine. Or one, you need to have a good school life, okay? No, what, wait, what if Miss Yui came into the ritual last second which caused them to... No, we, no, here's the thing. We've played a few episodes of this. Again, that's why I said we have a YouTube. But basically, what happened before is Miss Yui was there. The whole story, basically, it was an after-school thing from like a festival. All nine students and Miss Yui were there. Well, not all, no, all eight students and Miss Yui were there. They all took a piece of it and did it. So Miss Yui could have been the one to mess it up, but she was there to partake in it. Like, we, we know what happened at first, we just don't know what everyone was thinking. Like, it's not a matter of, oh, she joined late, so they had to do it ten times. I mean, fair if you're too lazy to check, but still. Like, it's just, it's not that she joined late, so it was the wrong number. If they get good grades, then maybe their parents will leave me alone. You should know. Yeah? Why don't you close your eyes and think back? Uh, th think back to what? <laughs> Your students, of course. She finished the ritual fully. True. <clears throat> Every day you give 110% for them. And you know as well as I do that some of them truly appreciate it. Any guesses which ones? Do you really think any of them care? Absolutely. How about Shinozaki, who usually hates the teachers? He's in the staff room asking you questions every day. And Kishinuma, who almost never came to school at all last year, has been here at least four times each week since you started. I mean, that's still bad. But that's missing like 20% of all days, so... Never thought I'd see the day. The students have taken notice and they appreciate you. Believe me, they don't hate you one bit. But even if that's true, I still don't get results. I mean, they may like me, but if they don't get the grades to back it up, their parents will never will. More importantly, if my students can't get good grades, then I failed them as a teacher. It's true that things may look different from the parents' points of view than they do from the schools. And a student's ability to excel is indeed of utmost importance. But the way I see it, the means through which you teach those students is just as important as the material they learn. In fact, it may be even more important. Sure, at least they're showing up more, but still. Dot, 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 dot. We only get these children for three short years. During that time, one must wonder. Do they enjoy their classes? Will they remember them as valuable, meaningful experiences? 
After all, their worries, resolutions, life lessons, and moments of personal growth. Will they look back at these two years during graduation and say, I really enjoyed this school. Ensuring that they do is just as much as part of the teacher's job as the material she teaches. And it's not just Shinozaki and Kishinuma. Think about Shinohara, whose home had really been getting her down. And Nakashima. After they met, their smiles seemed to get a lot brighter. Shinohara? I don't want to try and do this out. <laughs> she got a real knack for hiding her true feelings, doesn't she? Also, yes, I do make a little game of trying to come up with a song where I go dot 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 in it. Now that's just creepy as fuck. Okay. <clears throat> What can I do for my students? As soon as you start asking yourself that question, without even thinking about it, then you're a bona fide teacher, through and through. In fact, I'd even say once you reach that point, you've proven that education is in your nature. Basically, that you are here to teach. And no one can take that ammo away from you. This man is a great prep talker. I feel like I could go and teach now. I'm not going to because I'd be shit at it, but I feel like I could teach. So, how about you reclaim what's rightfully yours, hmm? Oh, she's crying. It's remarkable how little you change from when your students hear yourself. Whenever you had something on your mind, you'd always seek my guidance. Well, that's a nice little bit of backstory. With eyes wide open and full of tears. <laughs> you, shouldn't, you shouldn't strain yourself so much, Shishido. Enjoy what you do. You can spend every precious day with a whole host of interesting youths. Yeah, Yamazaki's just a good guy. He, he's like that grandfather figure everyone wants, spewing wisdom. Wait till you get to your first graduation and have somebody tell you, thanks for everything, teach. It's the best feeling in the world. <laughs> uh, I'll get in contact with the parents and guardians and try to set them straight. And tomorrow, or whenever you'd like, we can go over some lesson plans together to help ensure we get those students to their graduation safe and sound. Yamazaki looks like he's Walter White if he said no to drugs and became a teacher. Walter White was a teacher! Well, I mean, he was a he was a chemistry teacher. What are you on about? <laughs> he is really chill though. But no, he- Walter White from Breaking Bad was a fucking teacher. That's if Walter White chose to stay on a teacher and got promotions. Yeah, neither did I, I don't watch Breaking Bad. I need to, though. Okay. Pep talk over. Um. Hmm? Thanks for everything, Teach. You bet. You know, that's something- that's another great feeling. Being able to pass the torch and rely on one of your old students to keep your affairs in order. <laughs> oh no, Mong Bing has been upset by the fact she was wrong. <laughs> Oh, I, I, I can't do a calm laugh, wait. <laughs> I, I can't do, like, the happy laugh. I can only do the... Huh? A dream? I feel like I've been dreaming for a long time. Terrible, ominous dream where Nakashima and the others all lost their lives. I wonder where I am. You are in a very bad place. Da 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 da. I feel like it should be a game that every time I have to do that, you have to guess what the song is. Anyway. Oh, Yumi! No, Miss Yumi! Miss Shisho! Don't you understand the gravity of the situation? Go! Now! Oh, holy shit. Hello. Now I remember. I got buried in rubble after that. Da, 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 da. Da 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 
Anytime dot 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 appears, take three sips. Oh no, we'd be we'd be drunk by like this point in the game. Anyway, Yozaki, I hope you're able to get safe out safely. Mr. Yamazaki, what can I do for my students? As soon as you start asking yourself that question without even thinking about it, then you're a bona fide teacher through and through. I guess I did finally become a little more like a teacher I wanted to be. Hasn't even been a year. I can't move my body. I can't even feel my lower half. Everything below my neck. Paralyzed. It's so dark, so lonely. I wanted to, to live just a little longer. Am I crying? I, I'm almost dead, and here I am crying. Oh shit. I, mean, I don't like most of my teachers very much. But I love Miss Shishido, she feels almost like a big sister to me. And here's Naomi. And hey Miss Yui, is it true you have a cat? I was thinking of adopting this little guy, but I'm not sure how I go about it. Yeah, have a look. He's a dot rat bull. Look at his fat little body. I wasn't asking you, bitch. Hey Miss Yui, about that floopy droopy panda necklace you've got. Are you wearing it right now? It's hard to tell with those hunks. Well, he was referring to her titties. Okay. Ow! That was quite a punch. Miss Yui, I, I'll... I'll write you once I get sailed in at my new school. Not just now, but even after I grow up. I'll keep writing. I just want you to always be my teacher. Would that be okay? The only teacher I like was my year 9 English teacher because of this thick Scottish accent he called me. You know what? That is a great teacher. <clears throat> Miss Yui, your bike chain came off today, no? Never seen you take a spill like that before. It looks so full forlorn. But what the fuck is- one second. Forlorn. 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 Pitifully sad and abandoned or lonely, or an aim of endeavor, unlikely to succeed or be fulfilled. Oh, okay, so basically saying, hey, you looked like you couldn't fix that chain at all. I wish you all the very best. Please, don't die. Watch your past for yourselves. Don't let your future slip away. You know what? At least she's gonna die in little pain. I'm so cold. Mom? Huh? Oh god. Monet. Mayu's fucking dead. She died. She's the corpse that was in the hallway all smushed up with exposed guts. Because fun fact with Mayu, she was the one that was picked up by Ghost, forced into a wall so hard she splattered against it. Mayu is dead. She- she literally can't go to therapy. <laughs> anyway, I feel so alone. Yeah. True, physical therapy. <clears throat> Let's see. Da, 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 Da 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 There we go. <laughs> it's fun trying to come up with songs to do in dot form. <gasps> Don't go to the light, Miss Yui! Extra three has been a nice. Wait, what? Extra end? Hold on, what? What? Wait! Wait, that can't be it! No! That... What? What? Hold on, no, that- That can't be- No, that didn't even give me chapter 5, hold on. Hold on, what? I'm-
Oh, mate, Jackson, if you're bored, you don't need to be here. What? If, if you're bored, you're, you're free to leave. Okay, right, hold... I am so confused. Did I do something wrong? Hold, okay, hold on, hold on. I got the sixth ending. I see we found a moment's word. Okay, hold on. So how do I avoid that? No, I'm... Okay. Oh, okay. Okay, then. Okay, right. Hold. I'm... Okay, one sec. I'm gonna try going back to this. If it's just here... Right, uh... I do something. What, what? Okay, hold, hold on. I swear to god, if it's because of like shit I did earlier. The shelves aligned with various medicines and tonics. Yada. Wish Miss Yu were here. Okay, right. I don't. <sighs> what do I do? Does, does it. Okay, right. Hold on. I'm just checking. Does it go to the same place? Yeah, it does. Oh my god, wait, no, you're right. Oh, I just got it. I just got what happened. So... I don't think the Miss Yui we saw was actually Miss Yui, and I think the door dropping on us was actually what was- like, you saying the door dropped on us was right. Can I- Can I please go into settings? Okay. Right. Hold on, I'm gonna close that, because that's going to the same place. What? Do I do? Um. Shit. That didn't piss me off so badly. How so? Play another game? No, here's the thing. Because that's not the end. There's another chapter. That's the alternate end. That you're not- I don't think you're supposed to get that first try, is the worst part. Because it's an alternate ending. It said, it said on the desk screen, alternate ending, and then I checked it's ending 6. Now, please do. I need- I need to understand what has gone wrong here. Because something definitely has gone wrong. And I can't tell what. An alternative scenario. How do I how do I get back to the real scenario? How do, I, how do I go back to to normal life? I want I want the normal ending so I can actually do chapter bloody five. Look at this chapter five. Come do it. I want chapter five. How how do I get to? Uh, I meant to let him get stabbed. If Satoshi fails to save Naomi. Watch it be that you are meant to hold her up. Watch, watch it be that. Hold on, no. Oh god, it's gonna be, isn't it? It's gonna be that you're meant to hold Naomi up. And trying to find something to save that doesn't actually save her. I mean, I was thinking, like, I can, I can get that she would die, if she would die the way, then yeah, but... Okay, we're just gonna... We've seen all this. I'm just trying to skip ahead. It's, it's what happens with this type of game. You get pissed off with major decisions very easily. Okay, here we go. Yes, I know Yuka, I'm coming. Let me just speedrun this shit. Not a very good speedrun, mind you, but it's a speedrun. Come on. Control should fix that issue. What do you mean? 
Oh, control's like a skip button, isn't it? Okay, okay, I can do that. Oh, shit. I do that more than I should. Okay, here we go. Just, just hold this, yada yada. Yeah, okay, here we go, come on. Answer the phone, hold the... God damn, okay. This is really important to respect of how much dialogue there is. Okay, here we go. So, accidentally get, got the secret- fun fact, by the way, that was an achievement. It was an achievement to get that ending, so, you know, on one side, there is a bit of a good to it. Okay, here we go. Got it. Come on. Okay, then we leave, then we go back, and then we check. Yada yada. Okay, here we go. So we kick the door in. Shock horror! It's Naomi! And we save her. Try and hold her up. And you do something to loosen that rope around her neck. Hoist her by up on shoulders. On shoulders. Shoulders. Hold on. Okay, there we go. We got her. We did it. Okay. That actually makes a bit more sense now. Good, she's breathing. Naomi, stay with me. I'm going to loosen that rope. Reach behind and to unfasten. Stand on bucket at feet. Maybe I can get more leverage if I stand on this bucket. I, I, eh. Okay, now I've got some leverage. Oh, never mind. I killed her. That was a dumb decision. Dumb decision. Okay, we're going to be trying again. <laughs> oh, God. I'm not good at this. Why did I think that was a good idea? Like, of course the bucket's going to fucking give. What the fuck was I thinking? I'm kind of dumb, not going to lie. Like, I still managed to kill her. Okay. Next attempt. Next attempt. Here we go. Waiting for it to load. To load. To load. It's gonna load. That's, yeah, I know that's not how loose how a noose works. I think what happened was she dropped and it kind of like, you know the thing where, oh shit, no. Oh, fucking. Anyway, you know that thing where it's like when you drop, you have a chance of like your neck snapping? I think what happened was we got up and then she fell off the shoulders and it snapped her neck. So I think that's what happened there. No! Oh, no! <laughs> Why am I so shit today? I fucking clicked yes on- I can't click yes on that, I'm so scared about that, because that has full on nudity. And you know what, Twitch is like, no nudity. As long as I don't get caught though, it's all, you know, shh, keep it between us. Just, just, no one mention it, okay? If you need a bribe, you can, you know what you can do? You can, you can uh, join the Discord. You, you, you can join the Discord and uh, go ahead and uh, you know, bring it up with me. Uh, you, can, you can bring that up. Okay. Let's get back into the game. Okay, right. I'm going to be more careful this time. And I'm going to think. Well, I, I don't know, because I assume the noose isn't tight if she can breathe. Like, it could just be that she's choking, like, I don't know. It, the, the, the ghosts are children, they don't know how suicide works, they just know how to kill people. Okay, no. What do you mean that, what do you mean that's ghosts? Oh, wait, yeah, no, it's technically not ghosts, because it's the, it's a reenactment, it's a flashback. Here we go, let's go. Do 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 But I don't think I don't think it counts as the bad one because it's just like it's memories, so it's technically when they were alive. But I mean it's not the worst thing. But it's it's not the best either, I guess. Here we go, take that up, yada 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 yada, yada 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 yada, yada yada yada, yada 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 yada. I mean yeah, still Okay, we, we need to stop talking. We, we are getting split on this. Okay, here we go. 
Right. Can I temp- What does temp save do? Create temporary save data. Here we go. If I do that, then I can just keep coming back to this bit specifically. Kick in the door. Here we go. Okay, try and hold her up. Okay, so what would pushing her against the wall do? I'm kind of curious about that one, but I'm going to do this one first, try the other option. Hold on! I'll save you! Okay, reach behind to unfasten. Uh, I can't see what I'm doing. Is, is this it? While still supporting Naomi on his shoulders, with her upper body drooping between the back wall of the bathroom and his head, Satoshi reached behind him and fiddled with the knots on the base of the noose. Somehow or another, he managed to loosen the noose's grip. Yes! I chose the right choices for once and I saved somebody! <laughs> Naomi, hey, are you alright? Breathe! Fuck oh, yes. Look, the sun's even come out! That's it. Easy now, just like that. Breathe in and breathe out. Slow and steady. Just like that. Satoshi? Yeah, it's me. Are you alright? You really had me scared there for a minute. Is it? Okay. Slow and steady beat me. <laughs> sure. Anyway, I will say... I wish you didn't that though. Uh, ghosts. I'm gonna say ghosts. Because you remember, the, the place drives you crazy. And she saw Psycho kill herself. But I'm saying that the ghosts probably used the Psycho and the Mayu death to drive her crazy. Which then probably meant the ghosts forced her to do it so she was unaware. That's what I'm gonna go with. What, what? What's wrong? Are you in pain? Dumbass. Get here sooner next time. Don't insult the man who saved your life. God damn. What? Okay. I know it's a meme that the girls always do. But why is she moaning? Like, I get it with the voice acting if they do it weirdly. But you just put the word moan in there. How am I not meant to misinterpret that? Like, goddamn game. Um, what's... That's... Sorry. What's wrong with me? What am I doing? I wasn't like, no need to apologize. You're free to cry. That That's the way of the gentleman. He's always a shoulder to cry on. There's no need. Huh? No need to apologize. Okay, no, no needs. I don't know, okay, because moaning for me is kind of associated with that, so I can't imagine sad moaning, you know? Like, the internet ruined me. That kind of thing. So I always imagine more as the sobbing, and I get that. But if it's sad moaning, it's more like I can't imagine it. And in my head, it gets much funnier. You know? Anyway, let's continue. Oh. <clears throat> what to do this time? Da 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 Okay, here we go. Let's go. Um, is is your neck okay? My neck? What what was I doing anyway? I I fell down the stairs and then when I came to, you were here. You don't remember anything? Hmm. This sounds like the work of ghosts. Very, very spooky. I guess not. Af after I fell, I, I heard a snap in my leg and figured I'd broken it. But it, it turned out it was just the splint that Psycho had used in my sprained ankle earlier. Shinohara? I, th I think I heard a voice a little bit ago. Any idea where she went? Bad news time. Psycho... Psycho is, um... Hmm? And now she chose... Or she's got dementia and suicidal. No, I don't think it's that. That's impossible. I heard a voice. She spoke to me just a few minutes ago. Psycho. Psycho, no. Let's get her down. I feel bad leaving her up like that. No, it's not. Okay. We had a fight just before we parted ways. I was the one in the wrong, but I was too stubborn to admit it. And the next time I saw her, Psycho was already dead. Might have been my fault. I did some pretty mean things to her. 
I can't even apologize anymore. I don't know. Th these are two characters we haven't seen since chapter one. Flash two. I think they're in chapter two for a little bit now. These two are from ages ago. They haven't really been involved in a lot of drama. They kind of had their own side story for a bit and then they converged. So. Why the starfish in front of my butt? I, I don't know. Anyway, you do realize that you also tried to hang yourself, right? I did? That's not possible. But there is a sting of pain around my entire neck. Did, did I really? So you don't remember. I'm sure it was the same for Shinohara. I don't think she knew what she was doing either. No matter how upset she was, she would never. She wasn't the type to give up on anything, much less kill herself over it. You're, you're, you're right. She, she wouldn't do that. Oh, probably not. Anyway, um, I don't, I don't know. I didn't see her behind closed doors. Actually, there was this spirit who came to talk to me. A girl about the same age as us. Is that anyone who's been touched by the curse of the school will have their mind taken over and go crazy? Their mind taken over? No witnesses. Oh no! Don't shoot me! Hands up, I surrender! Right, curse or no curse, I do get the feeling that anyone trapped near and for long enough would go insane. Clearly we need to get out of this school as soon as we possibly can. The longer we're in here, the more danger we're in. If even, Na if even Naomi and Shinohara are two of the strongest people I know can wind up like this. <laughs> no, I've been shot! They pew pewed me! Then any one of us could be next, myself included. We'd better make sure nobody's left by themselves in here anymore. Sounds like we need to hurry up and find the others and then get out of here. Yeah, that brings something else though. That girl spirit also said that this school was its own version of closed space. And that Psycho and I were the only living beings present. So how did you get here, Satoshi? I am an interdimensional traveler! Now that you mention it, there is a different feeling in the air than there was before. Such concern for your friends, and all the impulses that go with it, spurring the heart into action, is truly a noble sentiment. No, sorry, the, the gay girls are dead. But Psycho was the gay girl. Like, they were the gay character, and sadly they're gone. So sadly, there is no gay bomb remaining. You'd have had it in Chapter 1, though. Now go, go to the one who requires your thoughts. Though you probably won't make it in time. <laughs> I'm getting better at that laugh. Come to think of it, I was also approached by the spirit of a high school girl. Shortly afterward, I lost consciousness and woke up on f not far from here. I wonder who she was. I'm not sure, but it sounds like you somehow made the leap from one closed space to another. No space. That first ghost we saw said that if two people were in different spaces, it would be nearly impossible for them to meet. <gasps> we can't find Yuka! Uh... Huh? One second. Oh god. <sighs> oh god, I had that weird thing where you feel like you need to sneeze, and then as you go to sneeze, it just stops. Anyway, <clears throat> it's nothing. Um, Satoshi? I, I think I heard Yuka's voice on the second floor earlier. You did? The two of us got separated by our love consciousness. She can't be by herself in a place like this, she'll never make it. As I saw her, she was heading out into a walkway between the two wings. Come on, Naomi, this way! But, okay. Sorry, Naomi, we gotta leave the corpse. Nohara, I'm sorry. I wish I could take you with us, but it doesn't seem like that's possible anymore. Please forgive me. I go. Every time that happens, I go on a killing spree. Oh no! Oh no, her ankle! I forgot about that! Uh, are you okay? The damage to her neck and throat may have been worse than I assumed. It might have cut off oxygen to her brain or something. Psycho. 
Sorry, I suddenly got really dizzy and tripped over my own feet. It's a good thing you went a little to the left then. And now everything's turning white. Oh shit! Naomi! Looks like she's lost consciousness. I need to take her somewhere to rest. Wasn't there a nurse's office or something around here? Okay, to the nurse's office! I put her on the same bed they slept on earlier. Oh, there we go, they did it for me, thank you. Hey, the girl's missing! <clears throat> uh... No, wait, no, that, I've done that, wait. I'm trying to think of a song now, hold on. Oh shit, what can I do? Oh no, I'm I'm blanking. I'm blanking. That's not good. Do da 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 Da, da, like that's Lord of the Rings, you know, like the dramatic music from Lord of the Rings. Anyway. I've also done like Harry Potter, I've done Titanic, I've done, you know, Dress Park. Anyway, <clears throat> her breathing seems normal. I, I guess she's okay? That's good news. I need to go find Yuka. Naomi, you stay here and rest up. I know it's dangerous for us to be by ourselves. And that goes for my little sister too. I can't just ignore her. I'll be back real soon, I swear. I can't do fucking Doom music. Okay, I can't do Doom. Alright, let's see. Yeah, so Miss Yui doesn't appear now. I get like what's the logic in that? <laughs> Where am I going now? The walkway was just at the bottom of these stairs to the right. Yep, and it's gone. Wait, we, we did this already, so I'm just gonna go ahead and just... There we go. Oh no! No! Fuck! God damn it, game! I thought it was gonna be the same. But I can put together what's happening. It's Kazami's little, it's Kazami's little sister. Nothing. Don't you nothing me, you little ass. Okay, I figured out what's happened. So there's friends, yada yada. Yu Yu over there, he's a psychopath, and he took his friend over, killed an animal, stabbed it with a knife, took it back, and they're like, oh, gross, another sister's like, don't you nothing me, you have a little fucking animal in your hands. Yeah, but I didn't do anything yet, so I'm not wrong with when I say nothing, now am I, stupid bitch. Are you real? You realize that no one likes a smart ass, right? You better call that sass mouth or you'll grow up to be an even more of good for nothing dirt bag than you already are. Uh, Kazami, give me a. I'll take care of the little guy myself, okay? Okay, see you tomorrow. Uh, I swear I don't know how he can be. How he can put up with you. <laughs> Shut the fuck up already. Why did I have to be the youngest anyway? If I had a little brother of my own, I'd love to. the shit out of him. It shows I won't be like my goddamn holier than thou sister or my fucking retarded of a brother. I listen to the little high cold respect him. I don't know might be. F I don't think it was. It seems like it was just a you know harmless creature that they weren't meant for doing anyway. <clears throat> I had a little sister of my own. <laughs> ah. Okie dokie. You okay? Also, so I guess that's why he's keeping Yuka around. He wants his own little sister, so he's stealing someone else's. Okay. What's the matter, Yuka? They're all full. Huh? To investigate! Oh, shit! What the hell? Who did this? Or did they do it themselves? Oh my god. The body inside is too near the stall door. Every time you try to open it, you just slams the corpse and bounce closed. That's quite a stench. The body inside is too near... Okay. Oh, I got a name tag. 
We're getting nothing in there. Another name tag. And nothing in there too. Okay, I I guess that's something. Oh, what are we doing? Great many lives ended in this room. I feel like I need like I I can't I literally can't think of a dot 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 worthy of this moment because I need something crazy, but I can't think of anything. Uh, <laughs> I mean, probably not mass. It was probably like one person did it, the rest got depressed, and they also did it. No, it's not Mariana Cross. What the fuck? <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> Why does Yuka look like he's fucking dead? Yuka oh, little Yuka, with all those bodies in there, you'll never be able to believe yourself. <laughs> so, well then, <laughs> shall we be off? My dear little sister. <laughs> oh fuck, this guy's creepy. Oh hello! Ayumi, hello. Sure is cold. Why the hell did Miss Yui and Kishinuma go anyway? Don't leave me by myself, I'm scared, you know? Oh no, she's the one who has panic attacks, oh shit. Maybe I should, should try to go back to, to room 1A. Okay, I mean, kind of a point. I don't want to set the world on fire. Da 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 You know what kind of works? If I stay in this in this other school building for too long, my head's really going to start pounding. Oh, there we go. Da 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 There we go. So as you've all seen, I take requests. Oh shit! That's okay. What can I do this time? What can I do this time? Uh, let's see. Chat, any suggestions for music I should try humming to? Or just going dot 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 to? Because you know me, I don't like just reading dot 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 anymore. I gotta add a tune to it. Dot 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 Nah, I, I can't do that bit. That that bit gets weird. I can't do that bit. <laughs> Family guy. I'll do that next. Stop it. Just stop it already. What if the paper dolls are connected directly to their soul? I don't know. Oh, shit. I don't know, because here's the thing. We've been told to keep our hands on them. So maybe I'm thinking they might be something like, oh, you need the ritual so you can actually get out. <laughs> we were killed by an educator. Ah! Fucking ghost! It's Red Dress Girl! That was... The girl that wasn't involved in Suzumoto's death! She seemed different from the others. Lonelier, but why? One sec, just gonna check this dead body. by the side. Oh, yeah, I got another one. There we go. It's Ghostly Ghoul! It's Tokyo Ghoul Re, man! She's the one from Tokyo! What's this fucking music? Just anyway, when something catches your eye, such as a poster on the wall or an item on the floor, walk over. It. Never give up. Okay, wait, wait. I didn't read one over there. Wait, give me a second. Bum 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 bum. Maybe treat tomorrow like a certainty. If you're alive now, trust that you'll still be alive then. If I recall, it's Tachibana's turn for day duty tomorrow. I want to go back to class. I hate the idea that I might not be able to ever again. I swear I'll take my schoolwork more seriously from now on. 
You know it's bad if students are swearing they're going to do even better work. Okay, let's just go back to starting class because that's what she said about 1A and everything. Here we go. Ba -bum 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 -bum. Hi ho. Hi ho. Oh my god. It's the body of a middle schooler, whoever it seems to have only just died mere minute, hours, minutes, or even moments ago. It's, okay, whoops. There we go. So 1A! Actually, Rhythm Kitchen is too excited anyways. True. Okay, now I'm gonna save very quickly. There we go. Alright, there's a bucket. Hello? Is anyone here? Oh, there's a piece of paper there. There's a crumpled up note on the floor. Then there's... there's one thing I've learned from all this. The children are victims too. They're not at fault here. They're not the ones who should hate. Their murderer is the one who created this cycle of resentment and cruelty. Their murderer is our true enemy. Neat. Now I know who to hate as I die. I was like, I wonder just how many people have died in this. Like, I, I, I want to know. Like, how many, how many in total? No, it doesn't seem like anyone... Oh, the door's open. Hello. Another one. It appears they died hand in hand and their bleached white bones are still holding hands even now. There were two corpses. Are... Okay, still the same. Okay. Want to kill a guy? I kind of do, yeah. Lever is stuck, it won't budge. There does seem to be a space for it to go down one more notch, but the mechanism is locked. There's a tiny, peculiarly shaped keyhole in its base. Okay. And there's two notes here. One sec. <clears throat> there's graffiti on the wall here. Idiots, there's no getting into heaven from here. Oh, that's a shame. I'm so glad we find each other before we died. We'll set off on this journey together, holding hands forevermore. There's nothing to be scared of as long as we have each other. We know those meaning in our lives because we were fortunate enough to find our soulmates to find one another amongst all the fish in the sea. Aw, they were lovers. To our mothers and our fathers, take heart. We died happy and we want nothing more. And when we finally pass over to the other side, our hunger pains will be gone. We'll finally fly up to heaven and be joyous forevermore. Our only regret is the pain our deaths will cause you. But one day we'll meet again, up in the golden realm of Ever After. You know, I'm developing one big question. How is it that this isn't more common knowledge? Like, think about it. If all these skill school children disappear, right, do you not think someone would notice, or, like, take note that massive groups of children constantly disappear? <laughs> ah! Oh, she tripped. Now. But yeah, like, how has no one really reported this? Like, sure, you could say it's just like, oh, yeah, they think it's, uh, you know, it's uh, going missing. But like, you'd think someone would notice there's at least a connection between them all, right? Anyway, Ayumi's hand landed squarely in the middle of a sea of broken glass from a fo- Oh, that sucks. The skin between the index finger and thumb on her right hand was cut wide open. Oh, ow, 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 it's bleeding pretty badly. I hope the handkerchief can stop it. Found out I'm anemic yesterday too. Great timing, huh? Starting to get dizzy now. Not good. I need to sit down. What's that? What's anemia? I need to Google that. Anemia. Anemia is a condition in which you lack enough healthy red blood cells to carry adequate oxygen to your body's tissue. Oh, basically they don't have enough blood, so bleeding's already pretty bad. Ah, shit. She is in a terrible situation. I know. I think I have to Google. Fair enough. Thanks for trying to tell me in time, though. What the fuck? An unseen force is pushing you back, preventing you from progressing any farther. Well, fuck you, ghost! I'm gonna go the other way then. Oh, save point. Thank you. The door. Oh, the door's fixed. God damn it. Okay, let's see. What about this direction? Hello, creepy ghost. Can you please give me directions? I'm kind of lost here. And that's blocked. Okay, where am I meant to go? Let's think. Go down to the infirmary? Maybe. Maybe. I'm feeling infirmary. Let's go to the infirmary. Okay. 
dodge and weave all the hole. Actually, wait, one second. Eh, I, I don't think there'll be anything different down here, will there? Oh, that's so fucking dark. Fuck that shit. Okay, let's go this way then. Hello, is anybody- Oh, there's another girl. Whoever this is seems to have only just died mere hours, minutes, or even moments ago. It, it seems like a lot of people are dying recently. Anyway, <clears throat> there's an old crumpled up piece of paper next to the body. Well, Yuma, guess this is as far as you go. It's all just set in, so it looks like it's time at the end of the road. My classmate Tomo Mizuki slimed the fence around the outdoor walkway and slipped into the woods outside the school. It's been three days now, and she still hasn't come back. All the while I've been stuck here getting chased around by the ghost of a girl with nothing above a drawline. And I've not only twisted my ankle, but also got glass cuts along my wrist, so I'm not in no condition to keep running. I keep hearing this snip, snip, snip of sound of scissors. Everywhere I go, I can't tell if it's real or if it's just uh, ringing in my ears. I wish I'd just die already, get it over with, so I can finally rest. Maybe I can have my head cut off with the jaw like that, look. And she died. Now what we got here? The body is several bars that correspond to multiple other things like blood and hunger. My body came with a debuff called naturally high blood pressure. Oh, yeah, that's fair. That's fair enough. Okay, that. Okay, I, I hope it's not too much of a pain, but yeah, let's just face it. She's in the worst situation, basically. It hurts. It hurts so much. Even in death, it still hurts now and always. Oh man, I hope I hope no one else dies painfully. My body came with iron deficiency. You know, I feel like saying stuff, but I feel like then it's just bragging about, like, the, the disease and everything. My body came with autism. The door is locked. There's an erratic noise, like they have a TV static, yada yada. But yeah, my body came equipped with autism. Ah, that that's a shame. Asthma's, you know, asthma isn't, like, the worst one, but it's definitely annoying as all hell. Okay, right, and I can't go, okay, right, where the fuck do you want me to go? Oh, wait, am I meant to actually just straight up? Hold on. Good thing I am meant to go into this room. H Hello? Anybody? Anybody? Hello? Really creepy. I, would, I could use some company, please. Friends? Family? Loved ones? Anyone? Hello? Okay, I don't think there's anything in here. Oh wait, yeah, there's another fucking path, isn't there? I completely forgot about that. Here we go. Go down here. Yeah, I complete I completely forgot about this bit. God damn. Nobody came pre-built with lack of reading and spelling unless it's on light pink paper. Oh my god. I can't even imagine writing on like bright pink paper. Like, that must be annoying to read for me. Anyway, the antique doll you threw down earlier is still lying there. Pick it up? Sure, why not? Creepy dolls, take it. Oh, wait, save. Hmm? What's my candle doing here? I'm sure I left it outside in the hallway. Did someone move it? Okay, let's go ahead and save, bitches! There's a torn piece of newspaper on the ground. <clears> hmm. <throat> Re oh no! Don't read it for now. There's there's a spirit there. Oh shit! Back away slowly. I want to talk to it now. Okay, wait. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna save quickly. Hello, ghost. How are you doing? He's staring right at... <gasps> the deep black iris of the boy's spirit's left eye transfixes Ayumi's gaze. It begins slowly expanding in size. I can't... Move my body. The boy's iris continues to grow. Slowly and methodically enveloping Ayumi until only blackness remains. The world vanishes into nothingness as the soulless muscle becomes an all-encompassing void. 
blotting out the whole of existence. Suddenly, in the distance, a tiny white face breaks through the darkness, shining with its own unnatural light. No, no, please, please, no, I'm so scared, please. The face seems distorted, as if being viewed through water. Its expression shifts and wobbles for a bit until finally, with some effect, the image clears. You've seen this face before. Somebody, somebody, please help! This is actually kind of tense. Oh, it's gonna happen. Well, well, that's anticlimactic. Fuck that. Okay. I thought that was gonna be a bit more like pizzazz to that, you know. Like the last time I did that, they buried me alive. So, okay, chapter select, chapter four, continue. Let's read the newspaper. Read it. Tenjin Public Relations. The light and dark side of Heavenly Host Elementary's principal Takamini Yanagihori. Ground was broken for Tenji's municipal mun Okay, you know what? I fucked that up. <clears throat> Ground was broken for Tenjin's municipal Heavenly Host Elementary School building in 1952. It quickly became a source of pride of the town, as no elementary school had stood within Tenjin's borders at all prior to its construction. Primary schoolers had previously been commuting to neighboring towns for class, so for them in particular, Heavenly Host was a godsend. The coveted position of principal for this new learning institution was awarded to a man named Ka Takamine Yanagihori. Yanagihori quickly became popular amongst the townsfolk for his charismatic personality, his worth ethic, and his firm but fair school policies. Registration and attendance soared well beyond the school's capacity, necessitating frequent desk and chair reorders and even several building expansions. Essentially, due to Yanagi, Yan, Yan, Yanagi Hori's unwavering dedication, Heavenly Host became a cornerstone of life within the humble town of Tenjin. But all that began to change on the dawn of a fateful day with an incident that would set the stage for Heavenly Host's rapid fall from grace. Me. The newspaper was torn at this point. The bottom half of the new article is missing. Okie dokie. Okay, right. Other than that, see, there's the ghost. And I mean, I don't, I don't want to stick around here to be honest. So I'm gonna, I can't go this way. I can't bring myself to see Suzumoto like that again. I feel like I'll lose my mind. Okay, right. What am I meant to do then? Let's see. I'm just gonna save quickly. Save. What about if I approach the ghost from the side? Oh, ghost. Boy spirit. Ahem. Da 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 if anyone else wants to request, anytime a dot 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 appears, I will try to I will try to do a tune to it, where I will say the word dot in tune with the song you suggest. Be aware though, I can't do them all. No, stop, you can't let his gaze meet yours. Uh Okay, I guess that's not what I'm doing. He Okay, okay, that... He stood up, though. What's gonna happen there? Come on. What do... I used to... Okay, he's... he's he, okay, he's back to sit... He's back to sin. Well, that didn't help at all. Alrighty, let's go see what's downstairs. Oh. He's leaving the workout. Okay. Okay, something's just popped up. I'm gonna have to end it here, sadly. I'm gonna have to end it here so I can go do some stuff. Uh, okay. Let me just very quickly... There we go. Okay, thank you everyone who has joined. You've all been an excellent audience. I just want to say, for anyone who hasn't already, please do consider following. It really does boost my confidence in all this if I can see that people actually enjoy it. And if you want to have a chance of catching other streams, please do join the Discord. We do tend to have general conversations. And when we finish games, I let you guys vote on what game I play next. So if you enjoyed the channel and you want to catch more, do join the Discord, please. 
Other than that, what can I say except thank you all for joining. You've been excellent people. Goodbye!